Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ghost and today we're back in the Trump wagon. Well, the not so Trump wagon, rather. Uh, so yeah, also known as the Missouri, okay? Missouri, Tier 7 Premium American Battleship, aka the Trump wagon, at least on PC. Okay, we'll talk about that more later. Uh, I did do a review a few months, or actually a couple months back when I bought the Missouri for 25,000 steel. I think, or was it 15,000 steel? I think I bought it bef after it got redu uh, reduced to 15,000, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, pretty cool, man. It's an Iowa-class battleship, good firepower, radars, 9.9 kilometer radar, 35-second duration, good armor, 32 millimeters everywhere. Downside with the armor, though, is obviously the American superstructure, as you guys can see, and, of course, a bunch of other stuff. So real quick, I'm going to go over to the commander build, and then I'm going to bring you guys on to the gameplay, where we will talk a little bit more about the Trump Wagon and why I call her that. Uh, at least why I call the Trump Wagon the Trump Wagon, okay? Um, regardless of where your political uh, standing is, uh, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. It's okay. But I, I'm, I'm totally expecting people to go into the comments and get all mad, because anytime someone mentions the word Trump, People seem to get super, super hell-bent out of shape, and I absolutely love it. So, anyway, here's the commander build. We're running Moist Critical. Well, actually, that's not the commander. That is the commander guys, a.k.a. the cosmetic that I got on. But if we take off the commander guys, it's William Sims, okay? So we're running William Sims. We've got Otto Ciliax and Andrew Cunningham as inspirations. We've got flammable cannoneer, gyrating drill bits, marksmanship, reaching out to XXL, and will rebuild. And we got them fully maxed out, Legendary 4, Rank 16. I've got everything in my power on this build to increase my dispersion. Also, I have the Artillery Plotting Room Mod 2 as well. I have Concealment. I've got everything. So, I try to give myself as much, you know... You know what? Fuck it. We'll even upgrade this. here. Oh, actually, I can't. I'm a little broke on steel. I've only got two... I've only got 1,900. I almost have enough to get it upgraded. But, um... Anywho, yeah, Iowa, man. It's an Iowa-class battleship. Y'all should know, if you've been playing Legends, what the Iowas are about. Okay, if you don't, well, I don't know. Do some research. There's plenty of videos out there. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to bring you guys over to the gameplay, and we will talk about the uh, Missouri and why she's known as the Trump Wagon over there. All right, and some other things as well. I will uh, bring you guys there now. Alrighty, so here we are in the mighty Trump Wagon. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, I was going to tell you guys why this is called the Trump Wagon. So, it originates from PC. On World of Warships PC, the Missouri, aka the Trump Wagon, she makes lots of credits. And I mean lots of credits. You guys thought Tier 7s made a lot of credits? Well, you all should probably go look over at World of Warships PC and see how much the Missouri makes over there. She makes, on average, 3 to 5 million credits a game if you have a decent game. Like, it's ridiculous. And she used to make even more than that easier back before she nerfed her credit making on PC. So, if you fill in the blanks and if you, you know, if you're a smart person, you pay attention to news or whatever, or anything history related to American business, Speaking of American business, boom chakalaka, that's our dev strike. On the Charles Martel, 30,000 damage, first blood devastating strike. That's going to be first of many medals, by the way, in this game. But anyway, I was talking about American business. Oh, yes, uh, that's, you know, put your pieces together. You can understand why this is called the Trump Wagon. Or at least why it's called the Trump Wagon on World of Warships PC. Now, on World of Warships Legends, for example, you don't make as much credits as you do over there in the Missouri. Okay, you only make regular credits uh, for any other, like, any other Tier 7 battleship. Tier 7 premium battleship, anyway. So, even if you have a great game in the Missouri, like we're about to have in this match, you still don't earn any increased credits. The Missouri makes the same amount of credits as any other Tier 7 premium battleship, and I think that should be changed. I think that steel ships should have a credit modifier. I think a steel, I think there should be a bonus for uh, steel ships. So that's just me. I think the Missouri should have an increase of like 30-40% credit making because you spend so much time grinding out the steel. I think that these ships should have a credit boost. But that's just me. That's my opinion. Y'all can have your own opinions about whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm sure people already do. Uh, anyway, no, uh, that's enough of the Trump wagon and why it's called that. The reason why you can put your, you know, <laughs> put your, uh, uh, your brain and your thinking caps on and, well, 
figure it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, we're up to 57,000 damage so far. We've got a devastating strike. We've got a first blood. we got a kill. And right now, we're losing lots of health to fire. Gotta love the fires. Now, some people, I, I can't wait. Some people are gonna go into the comments and tell me, Dr. Gauss, you're, you, why, why are you not running fight fire with fire? Why aren't you running fight fire with fire? Because I fucking just want to piss you off, okay? That's why. I, I, I'm j I just want to make you all mad, okay? That's why. I, 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 it's not even that... No, no, I'm just joking, okay? Seriously, the reason why I run fight fire, or why I don't run fight fire with fire is because I burn regardless. I can have fight fire with fire on, and I still burn like a goddamn California forest fire, okay? In the middle of a hot July day, okay? I burn no matter what I do. So what's the point in putting on fight fire with fire when I can get more out of Will the Rebuild? People seem to forget how Will the Rebuild can come in clutch. In this game in particular, Will the Rebuild actually does come in clutch. I was able, uh, later on, I don't want to spoil it, but I, I, yeah, we'll talk about it when it happens. But no, Will the Rebuild also, there's another bonus you get from it as well. You can heal faster. So if you, for example, get hit really hard, you need to quickly heal. When you pop your heal, you heal more and you heal quicker. You get more out of your heals. People don't seem to realize that either. Nope, everybody's on the fight fire with fire train. I don't know, man. I like Will to Rebuild. I really do. It seems to be more helpful for me. Like, I, I burn no matter what, okay? I never get triple fired. Like, ever. Like, I can... When I'm running fight fire with fire, my, th that freaking fire... Uh, when someone triple fires me, which it never happens, I, it just nothing, man. I never get triple fired. And then some people are going to be going in the comments and say, Well, Dr. Ghost, it doesn't just work for triple fires. There's also a percentage of fire damage taken off for each consecutive fire. I know that, okay? All right, I've been playing World of Warships Legends for probably more, you know, longer than 99% of you watching. I have been playing for 260 plus days on Legends in total. I've got over three to 4,000 hours clocked. I think I know, you know, how to read commander builds and what things say. So you don't need to go into the comments and, and keyboard warrior away about Will to Rebuild and Fight Fire with Fire. My personal preference, I prefer Will to Rebuild, okay? But you guys can run whatever you like. You guys can build your ships however you like. If you like running fight fire with fire, good for you. I'm proud. Do I go into your comments on your YouTube channel? Probably don't have one, but do I go into people's comments? Spartan's comments? Do I go into Aaron's comments? Do I go into Tommy Boy's or Durka's comments and ask them, Why the hell are you not running World Rebuild? No, I don't. I don't care what you run. All right? So, God, I'm so tired of people going into my comments and saying... All this stuff about why I'm running Will to Rebuild and not Fire with Fire. Jesus, if I if I keep getting people that keep tell asking me that question, I'm just gonna not even reply anymore. <laughs> Cause I think I've explained it more, you know, often than not on the channel. So the whole fight fire with fire, will to rebuild nonsense out of the way. We're doing pretty good in the game right here. As you guys can see, we're doing what Iowa's do best. Using range, using our guns, smacking things around. Now, you guys should know by now that the Iowas aren't exactly always this decent, right? Usually in my experience, my Iowas, Missouri, Iowa, all that, they're usually freaking shotguns. I, I don't understand it. Even when I build fully into the dispersion, my Iowas like to act up. But I get the occasional game where my shit actually works like, it's, like it is supposed to, and, and this one is one of those games. We got a broadside chap we have out here at 17 kilometers. A couple of those shells are coming in nicely. Even with the triple accuracy buff that we're getting from our epic modification, even with that, we're not we're getting that accuracy. Like horrible accuracy there. And we hit him a few times, but it was three overpens at 17 kilometers. Really, game? Come on, man. You gotta love the RNG though. And and for some reason, my my Iowa and my Missouri love to just troll the hell out of me. I don't know what it is. I've been, you know, if I play a battleship these days, I play, I play Constellation, I play my South Dakota class battleships, aka the uh, um, Alabama and the Massachusetts. I prefer those, right? If I'm going to go into a competitive game, if I'm going to play a battleship, it's probably going to be in the Massachusetts or the Alabama or the Constellation. The, the Missouri is too trolly for me. It really is. I struggle in the uh, Missouri and the Iowa because they just... One minute they're laser beams, next minute they're not. It's too inconsistent, and I hate inconsistency. I like my battleships to be consistent. I like to know when I'm going to go into a battle that I can expect good things, right? Missouri and Iowa, I don't always get that. Like, look at that dispersion. What the hell is that? 
I mean, I, I, I will I will pardon it, though, because I did kind of shoot right before he went unspotted and right after. So that was bound to be a weird-looking shot. But still, the shots were so spread out. I was still targeting that Bismarck, or not the Bismarck, the uh, cruiser that I think that was backing up. Or no, was it the Frenchie? It was the Frenchie. It was the French battleship. The, um, the uh, I forgot the name of it now, but um, it was the French guy that was backing up. And I got horrible accuracy, even when I was targeting him. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But then again, there's a good salvo with the front gun. See, it's off and on. It's, it's like there's a switch on my Missouri. It's like, oh, oh, you want good accuracy? Eh, we're going to turn the switch off. Oh, you know what? Actually, we're going to give you some good accuracy. here. Let's, let's switch it back on. It's like someone is pulling a switch over at Wargaming, messing with my shots. It really feels, it feels that way, right? So, ooh, it, it's rough. It's a rough time. Now, notice my health. I'm only on 4,000 health. I've been getting shot by 90% of the, you know, people over here. And I'm broadside of this Flandre, but don't worry. I've got this island here, and I should be A-OK. -okay. All those shells go right, you know, over and, and beyond me, so I'm OK. I'll up to 140,000 damage, and we've only got 4,900 4, health left. Basically, 5K health. So I'm trying to, you know, use this island. I'm praying to God that this Iowa moves up and gives me will to rebuild. That would be amazing, right? So all I'm doing, though, like I said, I'm just going to sit here. I'm not going to move. Because if I move and I get spotted and I get shot at, I'm a dead man. I know that. So I'm just trying to chill out here, you know, popping a cigar and just chilling. Because I don't need to move, right? But I do have my back turret. <laughs> and my back turret gets them. Down goes the Flandre. That's our second kill of the game. And we're up to now 144,000 damage with a high caliber, a devastating strike earlier on the uh, Charles Martel along with the uh, First Blood, of course. So we're doing pretty damn good, you know, so far, I would say. We're doing pretty damn good. Now Hood is shooting at us. Hood has nasty guns, and he hits us with basically almost all of those. Well, at least the ones that mattered. And he hits us, and he leaves us on 600 health. We take him down with the front guns, getting our third kill of the game, and a Confederate medal to add to the bunch. Three kills, 159,000 damage, and we're on 600 health. Oh my. Sometimes I do get good RNG, I will admit. Sometimes. On very rare occasions, I get good RNG. It's nice when it happens. You know, that guy left me alive. Pretty cool. Not like it matters, though. The team is doing pretty good so far. And even if I did die there, I think I have faith in my team to, to carry this game on to absolute victory. Then again, welcome to World of Warships Legends. You know, I've seen crazy throws before. It's not the first rodeo when it comes to, um, you know, watching people throw the game. Now, I'm pinging my Iowa. I'm like, bro, come up here, please. Give me Will to Rebuild. Be a legend. Be a naval legend and come up here, give me will to rebuild. I could use that extra health so I could maybe move around the island and potentially push in. And look at the map. The Iowa is coming in to support his sister ship, the Missouri. <laughs> and he's going to give me that sweet, juicy will to rebuild. And I'm going to be able to heal up some health. Yes. Thank goodness for will to rebuild. Pretty cool, right? Pretty nice. Very specific scenario, but it's still... Pretty damn nice to be able to heal health. I got 3.5 kilometer range on my legendary skill. There it goes. And look at that. We're healing up health. See, will the rebuild still works. It still can work. I know. Crazy concept. Um, but yeah. So we're going to heal up a little bit of health. And then I'm going to move forwards and maybe try to take out one of these uh, cruisers or something. Maybe the battleship. I don't know. There's only three ships left and they're all on this side of the map. The Bismarck, the Chappie, and the... And the uh, the Indianapolis. Both of those guys, the Chappie and the Indy, were burning me down at the beginning of the game. Now, Chappie goes down. Iowa takes him out. Good shit, Iowa. We're on 7,500 health now. We're moving. So I'm like, you know what? I've only got 7 to 500 now. I'm just going to come out here and see if I can't spot this cruiser and uh, take him out. Now, the Indianapolis is not spotted, unfortunately, on radar. So we don't know where he's at. Oh, there he is. He's spotted now. I have a perfect shot through that island. Perfect shot. Accuracy is questionable, and we apparently miss him. What? <laughs> what? Oh my god, we got robbed. That Indianapolis is on no health, and we're about to point out 
on a thousand points here 997 points and we're done game over we got a fireproof and a dreadnought to end it off on <laughs> even without fight fire with fire we still managed to you know use our damage controls wisely 159,000 damage uh confederate high caliber devastating strike first blood fireproof all of the things three kills and we were second on the leaderboard and this guy razor champ in the iowa takes the freaking uh, the the, th the freaking throne for being number one on the leaderboard. Very nicely done. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's the Trump Wagon. Hope you all did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Have a fantastic rest of your weekends, everybody. Peace out. Stay healthy. As always, the Trump Wagon. Woo! Not so Trump Wagon. <laughs>